Are you struggling to get a good night's sleep and still feel rested the next day? Many factors in our day-to-day -day life are negatively impacting how and when you get sleep. This includes our habits, our stress levels, and the foods that we eat. In this video, I'm gonna show you six scientifically proven hacks that will help you get the best sleep of your life. Now, some of these hacks are gonna seem obvious, but just bear with me and let's go through them. Hack number one, keep a regular sleep schedule. That means going to bed and waking up at the same time every day, including your weekends. This simple hack will reset your circadian rhythm and then regulate your body's signals, which tell you when to go to sleep, and when to wake up. If you're having trouble getting on a regular schedule, I would recommend that you set an alarm for when it's time to go to bed as well as when it's time to wake up every day. Once you lock in your cycle, you're gonna see how much easier it is to fall asleep when you lay down and you will wake up routinely right before your alarm actually goes off. Hack number two, get some sun every day. Another great sleep hack is to try to get some sun on your body early in the morning when you wake up. Exposing yourself to just 10 to 15 minutes of sunlight every day has so many benefits. Not only does it help to reinforce your circadian rhythm, but it also boosts the hormone serotonin in your brain. Serotonin is a neurotransmitter in the brain that helps us to regulate our mood, our energy, and our well-being. Another great benefit of sunlight we all know is it helps in the production of vitamin D. Now I live in Arizona and you would think that we all have toxic levels of vitamin D, but you wanna know why we don't? It's because we wear sunscreen all the time. So make sure you step outside and get a little bit of sunlight on your skin. Even if it's without sunscreen, don't tell the dermatologist. What? Oh my God, who told you? For just a few minutes every day. Hack number three, avoid caffeine towards the end of the day. Now, I don't know about you guys, I am not a caffeine junkie, it does nothing to me, but most everyone in America seems to be hopped up on caffeine all day long. I mean, let's face it, for most of you, caffeine is a great way to get a quick pick-me-up when you're feeling low energy levels. However, the effects of caffeine can last on your body anywhere from three to 10 hours. So to be on the safe side, I would recommend that you only have drinks with caffeine in them up to about noon and don't have any for the rest of the day. Hack number four, avoid looking at screens before bed. Does this look familiar to you every night when you get in bed? This one is tough for all of us because we're so used to looking at our phones, our tablets, our computers, and even watching TV before we go to bed. Now we all probably know this by now, but the blue light that emits from our devices, it tricks us into thinking that it's daytime and we can't fall asleep. My eyes! So instead of getting on your device or watching TV before you go to bed, maybe take a hot shower or even read a book to make yourself start to feel tired. Hack number five, exercise during the day. Exercising is not only good for our mental health, but obviously our physical health, but in turn, it also helps us sleep better. When we exercise, our body releases endorphins, which has mood boosting and pain relieving effects. Endorphins can also help to reduce stress and anxiety, which are two things that a lot of us struggle with in falling asleep. I don't know about you guys, but when I get in bed, a lot of times my brain is just running. While I love exercise, I will tell you, try to avoid it before bed because it can have the opposite effect. Please go to sleep. I can't sleep. Don't you understand? I can't sleep. Hack number six, create a friendly sleeping routine and environment. This could involve reading, writing in a journal, and even meditating. The goal here is to get your body to clear your mind and get in the mode of sleep. Make sure that it's a nice, cool environment because we all sleep better when it's cold. You should also avoid using your bed for anything except for sleep and... What do I mean by that? Your bed shouldn't be your office. You shouldn't have your computer in your bed doing work. It's really just there to sleep and... There you have it, six simple tips to help you sleep better. Let me know down in the comments below some of your favorite sleep hacks, but for now, Dr. Ricky, out.